Well, we're at the end of 2022 and Hollywood has lost half a billion dollars. What the fuck? In market revenue. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say. You get woke, you go. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. I'm Jazz Berganzo and this is What's Next. Nothing to see here, please. Good afternoon, guys. Jazz Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily. Hope you guys are doing well in this day after Christmas, and I hope you guys had a very, very wonderful and blessed Christmas indeed. Now back to business. Well, we, um, I'm not going to go and do a 2022, you know, the best of, the worst of, or what have you. That'll be towards the end of the week. But with this one, oh, I could not resist. Hollywood, of course, you know, stars and starlets, TV shows and movies and, you know, and the pulse and beat of the country. Well, for some, for others, it's a straight up business to the point in 2022, Hollywood has taken the biggest slam it's ever had in decades with over a half a billion dollars lost in market revenue and you know why? But Hollywood plays deaf, dumb, and stupid. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Hollywood lost more than half a billion dollars in market value in 2022. For Hollywood, 2022 was truly an anus horribilis. Major studios, streamers, cable providers, and other media giants lost a combined $542 billion in market value in 2022 with left-wing studios, Walt Disney, Netflix, Comcast accounting for the bulk of the bloodshed. The Dow Jones Media Titans Index, which tracks the performance of 30 of the world's biggest media companies, shed 40% this year. 40%. With its total market value declining from $1.35 trillion to $808 billion. Wow. According to the Financial Times. The loss outpaces indies, indies uh, sorry, the loss outpaces uh, indecisis for other sectors, includes bankings, uh, which saw a 14.5% drop from a year, and telecommunications, which fell by 11.2%. Hollywood's horrible year was a result of a one-two punch of a downturn in streaming market coupled with the consumers continue to cut the cord by the millions. In addition, the advertising market has cratered as households cut spendings at the cost of essentials like food and energy continue to skyrocket due to Joe Dementia and his disastrous economic policies, the worst this nation has ever seen in 45 years. But it's not about Joe. It's about Hollywood. Well, companies paid the highest price in 2022. Let's just are having a very hard time accepting the smashing success of a non-woke, pro-America, masculine Top Gun maverick to the tune of one point, I'm sorry, almost two billion dollars in revenue. The number one film of 2022. Disney, once an invincible brand of iconic American company, saw its stock plummet more than 40% this year as the company faces weak profitability and a foreseeable future, prompting the firing of CEO Bob Chapek and the rehash, dragging the corpse of a one Bob Iger back into the fold. Disney, whose stock is on course for the worst year since 74, spent 2022 embracing radical alphabet activism and waging a calamitous political war with Governor Rhonda Savage of Florida over the state's anti-grooming parental rights in education law. Netflix experienced an unprecedented two consecutive quarters and subscriber loss this year, which resulted in layoffs and cost cutting across the board. For the year, the stock is down more than 50%. Other big losers include Paramount Global, which has stock more than uh, stock dropped more than 40%, and Warner Brothers Discovery, the parent company in CNN, whose stock has tumbled more than 60%. Woof. And of course, leftist Hollywood continues to deliver woke dud after woke dud, and it's awesome to see their profits cratering as a result. Oh yes, it's lovely. Comcast, the parent company NBC and MSNBC as well, Universal, is down more than 30%. It's been a perfect storm of bad news, Michael Nathanson, media analyst for SVB, Moffat Nathanson, told uh, Financial Times. 
I've been covering this sector for a long time and I've never seen such a bad collection of data points before. But you got to remember, he's all about the data. We go from that to this. This comes out of Breitbart. Disney disaster. Speaking of cratering, Avatar 2 plunges 58% in its second weekend. This comes out of Looper. The biggest flops of 2022. As you can see there, that's lovely light year. 2022 was a pretty great year for movies with the release of exciting blockbusters like Black Panther. I'm sorry, what? Black Panther kind of forever. Bust and The Batman, which was, up until Top Gun came along, the number one film of the year. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the worst movies of 2022. The Northman. I disagree. I thought it was a great film, but fans, uh, fans, of, fans loved it, of course. But the overwhelming media, the normies, yeah, didn't take to it too much. You had bros, two gay dudes, flaunting it for everyone to see. Tank. Let's go. Move on. Lightyear. Again, you take an iconic character in Buzz Lightyear. Let's uh, the hell with Tim uh, Allen and his voice. No, we don't want that. We're going to go with a younger Tim Allen with a more, you know, progressive storyline. You know, like two chicks kissing. Bust. Let's move on. Strange World, about the alphabet. Bust, keep moving. Again, since, since the theme here, Disney cratering as we speak. Morbius, liked it. Didn't do that well, well, you know. Um, left some doors opening, uh, especially in the Spider-Man universe, but we won't see a sequel, more likely. Fantastical Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore. Guess what? You made Dumbledore gay. Bust, keep it moving. The 355, a bunch of three women who are invincible in taking down six foot five, 300 pound dudes. Yeah. It's called reality, sweeties. Bust. Keep it moving. Moonfall. Didn't see it. Don't care. 3,000 years of longing. Heard of it. Didn't see it. Didn't care. And my thoughts. Mm -mm -mm. It's lovely, lovely to see the left eat their own. When you had bust after combustible bust in Hollywood outside of the Batman and, of course, Top Gun. But you had other movies in the beginning of the year. Remember these wonderful Marvel movies, you know, like Black Widow, Bust, Thor, and uh, Debold and, you know, Emasculated, Bust, Shang-Chi, and the... You know, 10 bracelets, bust, and the eternal garbage fest. That was just that. Bust. And then you had Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which on paper looked good. Yeah, I'm sorry, once it hit the big screen. Yeah, not so good. So this is Hollywood 2022 in a nutshell. You had major companies spend billions on woke Alphabet trash should be interesting. Twenty twenty three. You you think so? You, you maybe they might learn from the fiasco of twenty twenty two. Yeah, but knowing Disney and Warner Brothers Discovery and Netflix as we do, expect more woke bullshit and expect them to even go broker. I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more? Would you like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And once again, hope you guys had a great Christmas and um, see you guys next time. Peace.